100 dollars. What would you do with 100 dollars? Well, if you're in my home city of Los Angeles, you'd grab dinner and drinks with friends. And your 100 dollars is gone. But where I am now, your 100 dollars can go a lot further. Welcome to Pakistan, a huge country with a lot of things to do, and literally all of them are under a hundred dollars. This is the one hundred dollar show with Yali. But first, a warning. This is not a place to visit if you're looking for luxury. This is not a place to visit if you're looking for comfort. This is the place to visit if you're looking for something new. A hundred dollars here can last almost forever because they get so few tourists and the locals are incredibly hospitable. So you don't actually end up paying for much. I even saw people giving out apples and tea on the roadside. We were driving in the Jeep and there's this whole stall and they're giving away tea and apples for free. Just to be nice. And it's no surprise because here they think guests are a blessing from God. You shouldn't just come here to get things for free. Even when you have to pay, the prices are very reasonable. Are you ready for this? For $100, you can get breakfast in the beautiful mountains for eight people. For $8. That's $1 per breakfast. A cup of tea? 25 cents. A car with a driver for one day? $30. A customized dress tailored by locals? $16. A rickshaw ride across the entire city? $1.50. A beautiful boat ride in a blue majestic lake with no one else around you? For 75 cents. Local delicious vegetarian dinner? $1.50. And this is meant for two people. And a hotel room here in an igloo with a million dollar view next to the most amazing nature for just $50 only. Stop all the fun. But isn't Pakistan dangerous? dangerous, dangerous, dangerous. No! In some of these tourist mountain towns, the crime rate is close to zero. Sometimes we need to forget everything we're taught and give a chance at visiting places like Pakistan. It is an amazing place. It's not a trip for everyone, but it is very, very rewarding to bond with nature. This is amazing. Look at all the mountains. And with locals. And I'm not even done yet. In Pakistan, I have discovered medical tourism. When I came here, I needed to go to the hospital for a quick checkup. And I was surprised by the prices and the quality. A root canal in LA is $1,500. But here it is $30. So I had three. So if you do the math, you can get 50 root canals for the price of one in LA. You don't even have 50 teeth. An x-ray at an internationally certified hospital cost me only $12. $12. Blood tests are $5. $5. And the doctors here are just as qualified as anywhere else. Your parents might disagree with everything I just said. They might even think I'm crazy. They'll think the car ride to the mountains is risky. They'll think Pakistan is dangerous. And they'll think the hospitals are not good enough. But they really don't need to worry. The prices are just one reason to visit Pakistan out of many. Give Pakistan a chance. 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 The people are friendly and generous. The food is delicious and healthy. The nature is majestic and the experience is amazing. And if budget is on your mind, then good. Because in Pakistan, your $100 will go very far.